Club チョッピーへいらっしゃいませ。Hey babe, welcome in. Are you looking for me? I'd be happy to be bothered by you. Let's go over to the table here. Okay, so this is our menu. There's a few meals. It's mostly like Mexican food. There are tacos and burritos with chicken or fish. You can also choose to have black beans or pinto beans and guacamole and sour cream at request. We also have nachos with cheese, hot peppers, green peppers, onions, and mushrooms. If you want something sweet, we have churros, both chocolate and vanilla dipped. And of course, we have a bunch of different beers, wines, and mixed drinks too. Would you like anything to eat? Um, for me, I would prefer the chocolate. <laughs> Not surprised. Kiki always gets vanilla everything. She's a vanilla fiend. Let me tell the cooks. So, and should I get something for us to drink in the meantime? Okay, be right back, babe. Okay, I've got your order in, and here is your drink. Kampai. So, did you did you come up here just to see me? Ah, uh, look at you. You're calling Kiki by her first name now. You must have scored some brownie points with the bird. Good job, babe. Oh, right, right. So you got to meet Kinume-san. How did that go? What do you mean at first? Didn't she just go to the shrine with you too? Well, you weren't supposed to talk about it. A secret? Did you see her again before you left? Can I guess? And you'll tell me if I'm right. You were out late doing something sketchy and you found her running around a party district alone. I won't tell her, I'm not even surprised. Um, and frankly, I don't think Kikin would be super surprised either. Kinome san works hard and plays hard. I even think she has some darker connections with, um, well, some, like, delinquents and nobongi. I don't know. And I'm not about to get my fingers cut off to find out. I wouldn't be shocked. But I know better than to say that about people. Uh, Kinome san, as you saw, is very pretty and could easily get a guy who was involved in darker things to do things for her. So, you know, did she try to trap you when you saw her out? <laughs> Don't think too much about it. Kinome san is the queen of making you believe. She loves you. She's, like, honestly a romantic, I think. She only likes physical contact. I wish I could be more like that sometimes. I get too emotionally involved too fast. I totally agree. And I mean, she's so pretty, I'm sure. It's just easy for her to get physical contact. I mean, I would if I'm being honest. But <laughs> not exactly. Well, we were in elementary school, and I totally followed her everywhere and would do anything she told me to. I'm not sure if that's a crush, really, but it was like a little... I don't know. Kids do that sometimes. 
now that I'm older, I'd still say she's pretty, but I'm not saying I wouldn't think about it, but I'm just not interested in that aftermath. I'm sure, you know, I'd like latch onto her like a louse and never let go if things went well. Oh, I know, her body looks great, but honestly, Kikins does too. She's just not as curvy. I'm sure I've caught you thinking about her before, babe. Nice. You should tell her that. Maybe, but then she'd feel validated. Babe, we've already talked about whether or not she should get more intimate. Now that you're using her first name, it's probably a good time. Look at her deeply and say that you can't stop falling asleep to the thought of touching her. You're embarrassed. Mm. Why, well, um, why don't you practice with me? Here, let me come up closer, please. Although I can't have you touch me just because it's the rules of the bar. Okay, so I'll be kicking. Uh, so, darling, what did you need to tell me, huh? No, 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 don't start like that. Don't automatically assume that she's going to be uncomfortable. Assume that she'll leap into your arms all excited. Well, don't assume that either. Assume, have, have that confidence. Have that confidence. You know, okay? Right, don't stutter, babe. Remain calm. You do, darling? Where do you want to touch me? See, that's good. And a good place to start, too. You don't want to ask her to do anything really dirty. Like I said... She, this is the vanilla feed. Uh -huh. She probably needs some slow steps to feel comfortable. Although I know, and you know, that you're not just looking to sit next to each other and poke at her stomach with your grubby little fingers. No, of course, I don't blame you. Man, honestly, I'm jealous of her stomach. That girl can eat anything and look like she just did 500 crunches. Mm. Oh, let me, um, let me go check on the churros. Hang on, I'll be right back. Here are the churros. You don't think so? But I have a soft, pudgy tummy, and she has that flat... <laughs> well, I do have some nice legs. Do you like my dress? They have a few options and outfits that we have, and I think this shows my legs off well. What do you think? I'm sure it's no... Kiname san at 2 a.m. outfit, but it's me. That's true. Kiname san style's a little different from mine anyway. She likes more traditional patterns. We do have to wear more tropical inspired outfits here, you know, but honestly, I'd wear this anyway. Mm hmm. I totally agree. This place is decently classy for being such a small bar. I mean, this isn't Shinjuku. We don't have all the money or clientele up here, but I don't want to be too far from home. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, the thing, I try to be responsible about my time between school and this. I could be spending all day on the subway 
if I wasn't smart about it. Hey, so can you get us some more drinks, please? I'm dry already. Don't you tell me to slow down. I'm at work. Oh, great. Thanks, babe. Let me refill yours, too. Texting. I'm your hostess for this evening. Oh, yeah, I don't blame you. Sakimoto-san, I knew very little about before college. She went to a different primary school than us. But, um, meeting her now is unnerving. Mm, I don't know about that. She's working and not off in some community house. I feel like something can't be that bad without a home base, you know? I mean, that being said, it is a little creepy. The way she talks sounds really rehearsed. I'm not sure. Have I ever watched those videos? It's a dude with a snowman head talking in this hypnotic, hard to understand voice. I've looked him up, but I'm not about to watch all that crap. Yeah, he's like this buff guy in a white suit and a snowman head. No, not like a business suit, like a stretchy suit. It reminds me of, uh, like a DJ. Yeah, I'm serious. That's what I'm saying. No one's gonna really worship that kind of person. It's just a phase, or she could be doing it for clout. Oh, are you scared? Does it creep you out? Poor babe. We can talk about other things. This is, time is really on you anyway. Oh, New Year's? It was good. Of course, I went back to Shizuoka with my family and saw my siblings, my oldest. They've um, decided they're going to identify differently. She just turned 18. My parents are feeling so so, but I'm excited because I've never grown up with a sister. Well, she was talking about coming to Tokyo, actually. Just, you know, it's a little more open. Oh, yeah, I will. I like when family visits. I do envy Kiki with that, being so close to her family, and, uh, and you, of course. Yes, I know. Why do you think I've been trying to invite you here? This isn't even work for me, spending time with you, babe. This whole situation makes me smile because I feel like I'm getting something that's not allowed. Of course, I'm working, so I can't do anything either, but... <sighs> I wish. Yeah, definitely. Oh, what's going on? Do you need to answer that? Daddy? Hi. I, um... I'm, like, in a square home, if it's okay. I was asleep, and Sakimoto put a speaker up to my ear, but that snowman guy... I just... I want to go home. She okay, babe? Oh no. Go, yeah, go, go get her. You know how to get back to the station from here? Can you send me a line message when you're both home safe? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. <laughs> 